hey what's up guys uh, hope you're all well and uh, in this video we are going to see how to create menus in desktop applications previously we saw how to create desktop applications using angular 2 along with the electron framework right and then i made another video on how to package and distribute your electron apps and then uh, i made another video on how to you know use uh, angular 2 the release candidate version in uh, for making desktop apps right so in this uh, video we'll just take it a step further and see how to create menus and uh, how to associate functions or actions along with that uh, menu options so uh, without further ado let's get started first and first of all what i have done here is uh, i have cloned a repo uh, my the repo from the video in which i showed how to use angular 2 rc version in a desktop app uh, along with the electron framework right uh, that repo is this one if you don't have this repo and you would uh, like to follow along with me you can go ahead and simply grab it here from uh, my uh, github profile i'll leave a link to this in the description box below uh, and I, I would also recommend you to watch that video once uh, but it's not really necessary if you had already watched my uh, uh, first video on creating the desktop apps so uh, enough of the talk let's get started i'll just open this up in my uh, vs code editor okay uh, now we have this open right so uh, the first thing i'll do here is to use electron in my uh, angular 2 apps i'll just uh, include the i mean install the typings for it so that i can use it along with typescript so let's go ahead and do that I have the typings for this here in my text editor. Uh, I'll just copy and paste this. Add this to my typings.json file here. Uh, save this and then uh, run. Uh, I have included a script for this here post install script typings install. So I'll just run that npm run post install. This will install the necessary typings for me ah yeah it has uh, completed okay now that we have the typings uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into what we have to do first of all i'll go ahead and create the menu first and then uh, show you how to associate that uh, menu with uh, a function okay uh, so let's open up our app.ts file this is how it looks and then import uh, the dependencies what was that import the classes uh, import remote apc renderer uh, from okay. and then uh, i'll write a constructor here constructor inside this i'll just create a menu where menu equal to remote dot menu, remote dot menu dot uh, build from template build from template uh, have a label first label i'll just give my name taja and then uh, this will have a sub menu sub menu this will be an array Okay, and then uh, say this the first thing will be label. We'll just give open here. And if we can associate with that function. Okay. And uh, uh, let me just, you know, for a simple example, let me just assign dialog to this uh, remote and assign remote to dialog and then use that here to just open show the open dialog dialog dot show uh, open dialog and then uh, this should have a callback right okay so uh, now we have a simple menu with the label raja and that will have a uh, by menu i am referring to this the file edit view go to the menu bar right and when you click on it you get several options right 
so this is what is actually the file is the label here and the sub menu is the new file new window everything similarly we will get a raja and then the label will be uh, sub menu will be open and uh, whatever we give in this array so let's see uh, this in action okay before we run this uh, we need to make two simple additions as well first of all we need to say webpack uh, that we are using electron in this right so i'll just add a target electron uh, render okay and then uh, save this come back to app.ts here inside the constructor we have written a template for a menu how the menu should look like right but we need to tell the renderer process that this menu should be displayed right so for that what we need to do is uh, we'll just add remote so remote dot uh, menu dot set application menu and uh, we'll give our menu here okay so this will uh, tell the renderer process to set the application menu as the menu we have uh, made here okay so uh, let's see how this works okay first of all i'll just go ahead and uh, npm run build this okay it's built fine now npm start okay now you can see this right this is my app and then i have the uh, main the menu bar i have raja once i click this i get this open uh, thing right now if i click this i get the open dialog menu right uh, so yeah so this is what i uh, was trying to tell you guys so now we have uh, if we click on something and then open it won't open obviously because we haven't written code to handle that event right uh, to open and display the file or something we haven't written the code but this is how you open up uh, you, you create a menu and then use that menu to perform an action inside your uh, angular 2 desktop app so now uh, we have seen the open uh, dialog which is like you know like a default part of the app and then you just uh, invoke it using dialog.show open dialog right so what if you wanted to create a custom window you want to create a window and when you click uh, sub menu uh, then you should open that specific window so let's see how to do that uh, first of all i'll close this go back to my uh, index.js file first what you need to do is uh, you need to uh call sorry not call uh use the i mean create a new window host we'll just copy paste this and then uh, let's name the window new window as uh, second window second window and then we'll just give a smaller resolution so that it gets displayed inside the first window 800 cross 600 okay and uh, here instead of index.html i'll just uh, create a new file called uh, second.html usually uh, it's advisable to create a separate component and then uh, use the html file as a template for that component so that you know you could have uh, exclusivity between the main window and the separate custom window you're opening but just for an example here i'll just uh, you know create a new html sorry html file not html is and uh, inside this i'll just uh, html sorry oh my emmet is not working again html uh, body h1 hello this is second okay this is a simple html file and then uh, what i'll do is i'll give this inside here second.html second.html okay now i have two configurations for two windows one is the main window which we see as usual and i have a configuration for a second window with item here i'll just give show is false so that it gets this it doesn't get uh, displayed uh, whenever the app signals ready okay uh, okay so now that we have written this uh, we'll go back to our app.ts and then create another uh, menu maybe uh, we'll just copy this paste it here and then uh, instead of this uh, what i'll do is open uh, 
trust okay uh, this will be the sub label sub menu label and then uh, here i'll use the ipc renderer ipc stands for inter process communication uh, it will be running as two processes right one is the renderer process and another one is the main process so uh, i'll use ipc to communicate from here to uh, my index.js file wherein i tell the uh, process to open our uh, custom dialog i mean custom window uh, the second window which we created uh, along with the second.html file right uh, that window okay so for that uh, what i'll do is uh, uh, ipc dot renderer dot send i'm just sending a signal and that signal is uh, open custom okay my a simple open customer is a simple flag okay uh, now i need to have a listener here right so i'll just go ahead and create that uh, before creating that obviously we need to sorry obviously we need to have ipc equal to electron dot uh, uh, ipc main okay uh, now uh ipc dot on what was that open flag right? sorry open custom open custom and then we'll associate a function with this by just using our arrow functions from es6 which comes in handy here and uh, what we need to do is simply show the uh, this is not actually main window this is second simply we'll just show this second window dot uh, show okay so uh, now what will happen is when our user clicks open custom sub label from the uh, menu or menu bar uh, it will send a signal to denote that user has uh, clicked this and we need to open up a custom window and this will be listening for that signal once it uh, receives an indication that uh, the uh, ipc has sent that signal then uh, it will just open up and show the window that's all we are doing here let's see how this works out so i'll just go here run npm run build again okay this is done now i'll just give npm start okay our app runs fine and uh, if i click on the first one our uh, open dialog opens and then if i click on the second one my new window opens right this is the window uh, which we created here the 800 cross 600 resolution window uh, and it displays the second dot html second dot html hello this is the second window hello this is the second window so now you get it right how to open multiple windows uh, which we have created uh, in our uh, electron app so this is how you create a menu and then uh, you know law, wire it up along with functions uh yeah this is what i wanted to show you today maybe as a bonus feature as an extra content i'll just you know uh, show you how to display notifications maybe notifications are an interesting concept right uh, for notification we can just make use of the html5 notification api itself so uh, i'll just close this up for now and then stop this here and then uh, what i'll do is maybe create a new file here called a notification notification.ts and then inside this uh, i'll declare the class declare a class notification uh, i'll just click later here so declare class notification and uh, uh, constructor I'll write a constructor here constructor title uh, string and options will be optional and uh, this will be object okay uh, i'll declare class like this and then make use of that in here like uh, uh, what was that here i'll make use of it and see the click uh, open custom and then let notification equal to new notification uh, custom dialog and then uh, uh, I'll write a function inside this for 
no not function this will obviously hold the uh, object on the frame so save this now let's see whether this goes fine uh, i'll just run npm button build once more and then i'll run npm start and then click on open custom you can see the notification right custom dialog this is a custom window created by this so this is how you make uh, notifications using the HTML5 uh, notification API. So yeah, basically that's it guys. Uh, in this video, I showed you how to create a menu, menus in our application windows and then how to create submenus in them and uh, how to you know write corresponding uh, actions or functions which can be mapped with the submenus. And then we also saw how to create uh, notifications using the uh, notification HTML5 notification API. So yeah, that's what I basically wanted to show you guys today. There's a lot of other fun stuff available with Electron as well, but I don't want to overload you guys with like a lengthy video or something. So I'll just, you know, make short, short, I mean, short, shorter videos like this now and then with uh, demonstrating more features of uh, Electron. And uh, uh, if you found this video helpful, kindly share it with someone else and help them too, guys. And uh, I know lots of guys have been leaving comments asking me to do tutorials about other stuff, but um, I'm sorry guys, I've been reading all your comments and I understand it. Uh, but the thing is I keep working with uh, other, you know, like videos and tutorials and stuff. And then uh, I also keep exploring new stuff as and when they come. So I don't get much time to do those. But whenever I get time, I'll just, you know, try to make those videos and uh, help you guys out. So no issues there. So yeah, guys, uh, if you like my video, kindly, you know, hit thumbs up on the video and uh, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.